The uninterruptible power supply is primarily designed to feed the computer system or any other equipment with electricity in case the electric network fails to do so for some reason. During such electric network failure, the UPS itself and the load are powered with the energy accumulated by its storage battery. Let's consider the positive moments of normal pressure inside the electric network, when the computer may be fed directly from the electric network without the two extra conversions. We start the inverter when the electric network fails, the voltage is beyond normal, and is powered by the battery. If the network voltage is normal, the computer, or another UPS load, works from the network directly, while the low power rectifier recharges the UPS battery. When the voltage goes beyond normal or vanishes, the indicated switch responds, starting the inverter. As a result, UPS begins to use its own battery to power the load. The switch over UPS has a high efficiency factor, as during routine functioning it only consumes the energy to power its circuit and to recharge the battery, if necessary. However, there is one significant deficiency. When you switch the UPS working from the battery to the regimen of working from the network, voltage jumps may occur in output. If the phase of voltage during the switchover is adverse, the computer power supply block will fail to eliminate them. As a result, impulse tensions appear in the sensitive electronic units of the computer. They are not hazardous, but they might cause the computer to malfunction if combined with other jamming. So, basically, the single function of the switch over UPS is to secure the running of the computer when there is no voltage in the network. It is not designed to effectively interact with the electric network, neither it is able to ensure that the voltage inside the network does not deform or to regulate the voltage when it gets too low or too high. For these purposes, you need the UPS switch to the network.